Hi, this is Jeff Podlasek with Tug DB2 Development. I'm going to demonstrate the changes we made to our database explorer in creating some new object groups. I've got Toad up and running and I've got uh, a couple connections going, one to a DB2 LUW database and one to a ZOS subsystem. Now this first tab here is connected to an LUW database and I'm using the drop down view in this database explorer and what I'll do is I'll show you some of these new groups. For example, now we have this data types group that contains all your data types. Arrays, associate arrays, cursor, distinct, row, and structure types. And also new when this is released, you'll see that you can now manage uh, arrays and associate array types. You can create, create like, alter, drop, migrate those objects. So that's the data types group. For DB2LUW, we also have a federated group that contains all your federated objects, servers, wrappers, mappings, type mappings, user mappings. And new in this DB2, Toad DB2 5.0 release, we've added the ability to uh, manage type mappings and user mappings. You could create, create like, drop, alter those objects. And we also have a security group that contains security-based objects, such as users, groups, roles, the things that you could grant and revoke permissions to and from, and new objects that we've introduced, such as trusted contacts, audit policies, security label components, security policies, and security labels. And these new objects can be managed as well. You could create, create like, alter, drop these new security objects as well. So they're all in the security group. We also have a category called additional objects, and this contains objects like index extensions, packages, temp tables, and transforms. Now back on the ZOS side, we have a new grouping of security that contains users, roles, and trusted contexts. And again, uh, trusted contexts are new in this 5.0 release, and you can manage those via right-click menus as well. And I typically like to use the drop-down view of this explorer. However, others might prefer a tree list view. And you'll see those new groupings in the tree list view as well. You can see the security, our existing WLM group, and the new federated group. And under schemas, you'll see the additional objects groups, since those are schema-based, and as well as the data types.